Um, I think this is going to be the final session. I think we'll <laughs> be able to take it home. But this has been awesome. And I know uh, we've been doing this on behalf of you and I and Jeff. Yeah. Because Jeff just in abstentia. Ain't here. Jeff is the other interviewer. <laughs> right there. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know. I think we're going to get into a little bit of Michigan, a little bit of Colorado, a little bit of paper route, a little bit of, um, um, you know, up to the 50th anniversary and just kind of everybody being together. It's just essentially you started off on kind of a dynasty of how many grandkids now? 16. So... <laughs> You know, at this point, you have crazy three kids. Yeah. Okay. Three kids. Seven. Sixteen. Seven. Two. <laughs> yeah. Bringing so, up the rear with the two. <laughs> so I mean, you want to touch a little bit on? So you came back from Germany and were in Michigan for four years. Four years. For four years. And we went um, to the Drayton Plains Free Methodist Church. Clancy Thompson was a pastor, and it was a Great four years, really fun. It was interesting because we had people who had gone to Spring Arbor with us yeah. in that church. Yeah. Les and Estelle uh, Dietzman and Dave and Linda Lonas. Uh, and it seems like there were several others that well, were in around. There were. It, it, so it was, it was. But a, a lot, very, of, lot of kids, yeah. your kids' age. That's what made it so And a fun. lot of unusual, yeah. yeah. So in, in, in a sense, it probably felt a little bit like the military where you guys were in the same circumstances with a bunch of kids. Because mm -hmm. I remember, and Chris, you probably do too, is on Sunday afternoon, it's like, hey, where are we going? Who's, whose place are we going for? Right. Go to right. today. <laughs> Either we, we would host or we'd go over to somebody else's house. Yep. 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 Pretty much. Well, yeah. it definitely seemed lo longer than four years to me. Yeah. It felt like we spent our whole lives there. <laughs> yeah. No, we came but, back. Yeah. It was four years. Yeah. It was. We did the 2 7 program. We talked about that a little bit. And and you kids started learning Bible verses. And Do you great. remember doing them at church on, on Sunday, Sunday night. nights? Clancy would have. And you always wanted. You. We're the one that would like to stand up. In fact, when we... Oh, wait a minute. I think if there was a microphone involved, I was in. You were. <laughs> when we, act you, when we you... actually moved it to Colorado, you'd say, why doesn't that preacher have us say our Bible verses? <laughs> really? Yeah. Huh. Do, yeah. You, do you remember standing around the outside of the sanctuary in a big circle, yes. At, yes. and that's the way we would that. close. Singing. I am so, so glad. I'm I am so glad. Bond. Yep. Bond. Yeah, I'm a part of the family of God. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Yep, definitely. Huh. Okay. Well, and I remember a particular choir event that Kristen was kind of the star of. That you, <laughs> I'm sure you have to give your perspective because I'm sure you had absolutely no idea it was coming. You're right. You're right. Even the second time. They were. <laughs> They had a really cool kids musical program, yeah. well, and and they were singing, and all of a sudden the music stopped, but and everybody else stopped, but Kristen <laughs> finished the verse out all by herself. I remember the song. It was a song. <laughs> Puppies are beautiful, kittens, kittens are, are beautiful, birds and fish and birds and, birds and butterflies too. God made these for us too. And I looked, I think I was sitting with Carol Zeller, and I looked at her, I didn't know she had a solo. So then they got the music going again. Backed yeah. up, started but over. Apparently the tape broke. Broke right in that. Or stopped. Yeah, I don't know. It stopped on the second second time. And Same thing. Same she place. kept going by herself all again. <laughs> Did a good job. And then whoever was in charge said, well, thank you, Kristen Nolan, for that unexpected solo. <laughs> yeah. It was Marianne. Tice. Oh, Rogenbaum. Nice. Rogenbaum. Rogenbaum. Mm -hmm. You'd have pulled it off had she not told on you. Yes. <laughs> now, honestly, everybody said, well, that was so smart of you to keep going and do it the second time, too. And I was like, yeah, that had nothing to do with smarts. That was just... <laughs> Scared and... <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think I had the wherewithal to think, well, I did it once. I better do it again. I think I just... 
didn't think it was going to stop. And so I started. <laughs> Kept going. I started to say the next word. And I was the only one. So then I didn't want to like be like, God, may. <laughs> so I thought I would just finish out the phrase or something. I don't know. That was hilarious. But you mentioned Zellers. Tell, tell us when you kind of first connected with them. Because then obviously Todd and Kristen connected yeah. again. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. That. We were coming from Germany, and we had two shipments, one that you needed fast, it was coming by air, air. another that came by ship. Well, we got our ship, ship one, first. but the one that had the pots and pans and, and laundries, everything that you needed to live with, wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So we had a house with no curtains, no anything, hardly. Mm -hmm. And so the church asked for donations to help us and carol zeller was the first one that came and brought us stuff i think she brought us pots and pans but i can't remember for sure <laughs> but that kind of started a friendship and then you gotta move right into i mean I, it, so it takes us all the way to when we were leaving uh, that jeff bet todd four years mm -hmm. of well, going had, to that zellers church. had three boys mm -hmm. and we had one girl and two boys, mm -hmm. and really Todd and Jeff yeah. were close. Right, they were close, close friends. friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they became fast buds. But yes, Todd and I kind of liked each other, and so yeah, Jeff at our going away party at the church, Jeff bet Todd a dollar that he would kiss me. And so. you, you were what ten? No. I? Yeah. No. We were ten. Really, I thought it was five. I guess oh, I guess no. you met when you were five. We yes. met when right, we were and we five. were there four years. Yeah. Yeah. So you were nine. Well, yeah. close to close yeah. to. Yeah. I left well, in we January. Left in she became ten, and we actually moved out in March. <clears throat> so. Mm. Yeah. And that leaving that church and everybody was one of the hardest things we've ever done. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, we loved it there, but yeah. we had to leave, <laughs> and then. Greg adjusted very well to Colorado, and Kristen and Jeff cried half of the time. <laughs> Had a terrible time, and I remember reading. What did I read to you? It was a book. Mm, a book, some book. <laughs> Miss Susie. <laughs> anyway, yeah. to to keep them from crying and stuff, and mm. that's because I didn't have any friends. They did. <laughs> yeah, I remember sitting in the study in Michigan and. Crying and saying, We're not going to move. And Jeff said, I'm going to stay with the Zellers. And I said, I'm going to stay with the Swankinsons. And I said, Is there any way I can get a camera? <laughs> <laughs> but they eventually. Yeah, we moved. And I moved we, out in January and came back in March. We, can, we moved out in March. Because we sold, Diane sold the house. Kids, we don't own this house anymore. You have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And we got out there. Do you remember what happened the first weekend we were there? Three feet of snow. Three mm -hmm. feet well, of snow. But before that, we were wearing shorts. Yeah, because we ate on the porch, yep. back porch. Out in the and back. then it snowed, and we said, where did you bring us? This is a crazy <laughs> place. You're wearing shorts one day, and then snowmobile suits the next, and you can't get out of your house. I kind of remember we walked to yeah. Mall of the Bluffs, Bluffs which exactly. is... Exactly. Probably three to four miles. At least. Yeah. Maybe five. To go to a hardware store to get something that he needed to fix. Something. Fix up. <laughs> Bookcase, I think. Okay. Oh. Part of the moving process. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, it was it was a lot of snow. Mm -hmm. And so you guys were in what grades when we got there? I think I was in... Middle of fourth grade, middle of third grade. Because it was January. Jeff. In yeah. fifth, I believe. Fifth or Jeff was in sixth. sixth. It may have been yeah. sixth. Well, but, you were sixth grade because we okay. were two years apart in school, you right. and I, and then Jeff and I were one, um, and then later we were two. So and I think all, all some time. of the biggest thing that characterized Colorado were the paper routes, mm. um, maybe going to Air Force football games. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, that the was second good. year we were there, we had someone who, owned, who had the whole season's worth of tickets it was our neighbors. And they gave them to us because mm -hmm. they were leaving for Alaska. Hmm. Ooh, that's cool. I don't remember that. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> they were still there. They didn't leave. But for some reason, they didn't want them. I, 
I don't know. So you ended up being able to go to Air Force football games. Oh, yes. yeah, I love that one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. Every Saturday. Or and you guys every were Every Saturday in, it was a home game. You were in the <laughs> little league um, football. football. Mm-hmm. And then you started soccer. I remember you going to baseball practice, and it would be really warm. And before you got over, it was absolutely freezing. And hailing and yeah. raining on us. <laughs> yeah, and I, it took a lot of training to that you have to take your coat with you every place you go mm. kind of i think the things that i recall that were so different from michigan was that even parking lots had hills <laughs> i mean yeah, it wasn't all... nothing was flat yeah absolutely and playgrounds were bare and dirt <laughs> and yep. michigan they were green grass yeah. and i just remember i almost cried when i saw our playground for the first time because it was red Dirt. Dirt. <laughs> and and then I thought, walls what? sticking up in the middle yeah, of the Yeah, I'm like, why? How do they ex- expect kids to play on dirt? That doesn't make any sense. We're going to get hurt. <laughs> and you did. We did. Yeah. Got yeah. some skin knees. And... Huh. So, I mean, we survived. It's, it's, you did. It, it's kind of a miracle in some regards. Um, but uh, recall just a couple things about paper routes and, and mm. going well, down the hills. For, first and... of all, let me do a, an overview. Sure. We were there about 30 years, and we were in our first house, 15-ish, mm. and then up in Woodland Park, the second 15. Mm-hmm. So just ballpark. I remember you got a paper route very young. How old? It was 11. 11? And the papers were heavy, and he had to get up early. It was early morning, and I hated having you do that, but I was very proud of you for doing it. And you, but always... I remember the first Sunday, because the weekly papers were fairly small, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden, huge. you got these humongous Sunday, and you went out and you tried for I don't know how long, hmm. And then you finally gave up and came into the bedroom and said, I need help. (laughs) So we did help you often on Sundays. Mm -hmm. But it was on a rug in our kitchen. And that rug had so much ink, Mm. black ink on it. I didn't realize. Fortunately, it was green and dark. Yeah, it didn't really show. And so you couldn't see it as well. It was saturated (laughs) with printer's ink. (laughs) But it was hard. And then Jeff... Greg used to take Jeff to collect with him because he and he used to rub snow on his face, so it'd be red. So they thought he'd take pity on him and pay him better. And they did, but he was really cute. And sorry. Um, and the dog ran between your legs. The, 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 your legs and bit Jeff. Yeah, this will, this will be another uh, podcast video. Yeah, that's a whole. Book. <laughs> but yeah, no, we had crazy crazy times with with the paper route. But one, one quick thing, I, I remember you would go out with a hat on, ear flaps down, tied under your chin, it was one, and Jeff would have to go out bareheaded, so he'd be, he'd look good. His hair, <laughs> his hair was still good. <laughs> that was the difference between the two. Huh. Well, and we were all athletes, but yep. Jeff and I never made it up to Kristen's standards. <laughs> so describe what she did in high school. Mm. She... She played soccer, basketball, volleyball, and track, right? Yeah, track was in middle school. I started mm-hmm. out with volleyball, basketball, and ran track. But Didn't we was... try baseball for a while? Softball. <clears throat> we started softball. I, I did softball in like park and rec. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then I, I don't think we had it. Yeah, I don't think we didn't. Schools. It was not a school sport, right. mm-hmm. so I was never able to do that. But I was just thankful because I hated track, but I did it, yeah. and it was in junior <laughs> high. So in ninth grade, I was able to try out for the high school soccer team, mm. which was at the same time as track in the middle school. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I made the high school team, so I was like, yes, I don't have to run anymore. <laughs> Huh. Yeah. Just back and forth. Yeah, yeah but that was different. Yeah. I, you know, you could do that. Track was just you're out there all by yourself, and yeah, I ran the 200 and the 400, and sometimes I had to run the 400 twice in a mm. in a relay, and that I just felt like I was gonna die every time I did it. And you're scared, yep. and everybody's watching you just run, and 
And she, soccer, you're with a team of people, so yeah. She did not <laughs> want to play, do sports at first, and we kind of forced no. her into it. And she ended up to be athlete of the year her senior year, woman. Top so, senior at a 5A high school. Mm-hmm. In fact, she still has got a picture in the in the cafeteria. And Jeff and I, I don't even think they know who we are. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. Lots of them did. You guys did well, too. Well, so, I mean, we really feel like most of what we remember growing up, I mean, it's kind of split from Michigan to Colorado, but, I mean, obviously from elementary school to middle school to high school. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you remember about churches in Colorado? Well, I mean, I remember being in youth group each location we were at the mm-hmm. Nazarene church mm-hmm. and then we went to village seven and I think mm-hmm. village seven was really the place that helped us a lot yeah mm-hmm. that was sort of center yeah it, it was mm-hmm. and then um just in essence of time though mm-hmm. I mean we made it through and all that kind of stuff and I would like for you to kind of reflect a little bit because you went from having us to your 50th in Estes Park, that mm-hmm. kind of culminates really, I would think, the pinnacle of the Colorado experience. Yep. Um, the pinnacle of the whole life experience. <laughs> <laughs> so really, I mean, we've spent most of this um, video series talking about us being little mm-hmm. and stuff. And now, I mean, describe kind of what you have with your family as far as kids and grandkids and that kind of One stuff. One thing we... Never expected you guys to come back to Colorado. You were still connected a lot to Michigan because you went to Spring Arbor to college and everything. It was really thrilling for us to have you guys come back to Colorado. And um, Jeff was there for a while, too, and then he moved. But on our 50th, we had... 50th was 2012. Okay. Right? And we had, at that time, we had 15 grandchildren. And, you know, the three kids and their spouses, and we all went up to Estes Park for a week at Christmas time. And it was so much fun. I mean, the kids were at great ages where they enjoyed their cousins, and we, we did all sorts of activities. So, Brennan was the oldest. Brennan right. was the oldest. And he... He was engaged He was engaged, so Vanessa... Or, or they were just dating seriously. No, they, were, they were engaged. They were, they? Mm-hmm. Because Vanessa came, and that yeah. was great. Because I said the they, youngest had, they was, had to be engaged in order to bring a boyfriend or a girlfriend. <laughs> and the youngest was Addison. Mm-hmm. And she, I don't know, maybe five or six at that time? Mm-hmm. No, Let's maybe see. even younger. I don't know. I, I mean, if you do look up, the, a lot of the Nolan Variety Show is oh. there. And so we have oh, yeah. some of the YouTube kind right. of videos of what we ended up doing. I, I don't know who came up with the idea that we were going to do a variety show, but the kids mm-hmm. practiced and they did. They and, put and, on acts and yeah, and we had worship together. Mm-hmm. Todd and, brought his guitar, and you and Todd both had guitars. And I can still remember Tenley saying to me, "We had a, a couple nights, and then we skipped a night or two. And she says, Grandma, when are we going to do that church thing again?" <laughs> <laughs> so the kids enjoyed it. We kind of told Bible stories. And then we sang and yeah. stuff, and it was really fun. We had a huge bedroom where we could all fit in, all 24 of us. Yeah, it's crazy. It was. It's a big and place. It was went really fun. Ice skating, tobogganing, but played games and Put each family puzzle. Each family was in charge of one whole day of food. Mm-hmm. It took a lot of planning on my part. I really it did, but I was just thrilled with the way it turned out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was fun. We all had a good time. I would love to do it again, but it's amazing how much six years has changed. Hmm. Everybody, everything. I mean, the kids. They're going their own ways. They're more weddings, yeah. more plans. Yeah, yeah. Our people don't date. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but they go to Japan. <laughs> and Hawaii. True. So they're, they're coming. But we also... That it was very hard to come from Michigan to Colorado, but then we left Colorado, went back to Michigan, and that was really hard. <laughs> mm-hmm. But that's where we were supposed to do. Grandma needed us, so we went and for four years, took care of her, and then she died last August, hmm. a year ago August, mm-hmm. over a year. So. so we're back in Spring Arbor, where we started. 
right? <laughs> Trying yeah, to figure I mean, out whether that's where we should stay or should we come back. And, and it's, it's amazing to think about because, you know, you guys are in your middle 70s now. Yeah, pretty tall. <laughs> <laughs> but if you go back to um, your 17, 18-year-old, how many people in Spring Arbor do you know when you were juniors in high school? That you know now. That are there. Yeah. That are yeah. there. And Probably, maybe 10. 10, 12, 10, something 12. like that's that. In, They're still inc- there. That's incredible. Yeah. And if you go another 10 years later, there's probably more. Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. 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 There are other people around Michigan who aren't in the Spring Arbor area that yeah. we know. But yeah. they're close. But, they're, yeah. Yeah. Like Les and Estelle are, are in Grand Rapids area. And the Dietzmans. Um, yeah, just... I mean, it's just there's no other place in Michigan that we could go back and feel at home. Well, and and just to me, just hindsight as a believer is really pretty amazing because you you look at the guidance and the steps and all that kind of stuff and the people Mm -hmm. that you get connected with, you know, as you look through what we talked about over the past couple hours. Yeah, it's it's amazing. God has led us all the way, and we're just asking Him to lead us again. Yeah. Right. We will follow if you just talk to us. Yeah. <laughs> Let so, us know. any, I mean, within the next five minutes, is there anything that you'd like to tie this up with that just has been? I mean, it's been a super special opportunity for us um, to be here to chat with you about it. Um, and hopefully all the grandkids and, mm-hmm. you know, that, that's the cool thing about technology today is, <laughs> I mean, you can, as a dad, see some of your football, I mean, mm-hmm. some of our, our kids, mm-hmm. you can see what you did, you know, 15 years ago. Where all we had was black and white yeah. <laughs> snapshots. <laughs> well, I just want to say that I am very proud of the way our three children turned out. Yes, especially Kristen. <laughs> Stop. All three. She didn't have that much to change. <laughs> no, no. She, yeah. Jeff and I were most improved. She just stayed the same. And they're all, you're all doing a wonderful job of parenting. And I just am proud of our family. You guys are doing a great job. Uh, you guys laid a, an amazing foundation. So we all appreciate that. And I just I love being with you guys. Maybe this is where we're supposed to be, but we don't know. <laughs> God has led us. I mean, I knew that we had to go to Michigan. It was just imprinted upon my brain, and I can't tell you how or why. So I'm waiting to be imprinted again. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the, and the cool thing is, is that some of the kids are getting old enough that they can pop out and visit we while you that. make right. that decision yeah. and that kind of yeah. stuff. Right. So. I mean, Brennan and, and Vanessa have already Been there. come. To our Couple house. Times. Yeah. yeah. And we actually are fairly close to Jeff and his family, and he has a youngest family. Yeah. Well, we'll just mail you a couple of our kids for at least okay. <laughs> two months at a time. Okay. Right. Well, that'll be good. Right. We got the room for him right now. Yeah. Riley's been there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think she's the only one out of your family. Grant has. Yeah. Grant and Caitlin, Caitlin has. has. Yeah. Um, Brennan. Of course, Riley never saw it settled. Okay. That's, I'd love to have her see it. See put what together. it looks like put together. Because <laughs> she was there when we moved when, in. We, all boxes. Yeah. yeah. Well, this yeah. has been fun. We, we've, I've kind of had this in mind for a number, for a long time. And we tried a couple mm-hmm. days ago, and it just wasn't right. But I think I think we got to... The essence. Well, even, <laughs> even better in some respects than mm-hmm. our first attempt. Um, well, I appreciate it because it's been on our mind lately to try to get our life down on paper. Right. Mm. And we haven't been very good at it. We got the dates down. We went here and there. Well, <laughs> that's as far as we got. Yeah. Uh, so good. this was easier. Well, <laughs> and, 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 and something that you could do too is is group some of the pictures that are meaningful as you describe things as we did in the series. Oh. And we can kind of take some of those oh, and put it you? into another oh. video okay. and, and have that available for people to look through. And Oh, that must have been what they were talking about. Coming off the back of a mm-hmm. building in Oklahoma. <laughs> yes, well, they we need can. a little help with that, actually. Yeah. yeah. Because they have them on slides, a lot of their pictures, and they actually right. have them out we, here. Okay. But I'm not sure. I we, had them out here so you could help him learn how to do it. Like, but but to it didn't turn out. Them. But it, we, it, we'll get there. Yeah. We, I mean, we've started on it, and yeah. we just need to push 
through it. <laughs> All right. I thought we'd have a lot of free time here, but we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Thus has been your retirement. Right. <laughs> right. All right. So we're going to take each a minute. Chris, minute for final thoughts. Hmm. <laughs> final thoughts. Well, I just, the theme of, I think sometimes you have to be able to look back over life and mm-hmm. circumstances in order to see where God has really led you. Yep. Because a lot of times I think when you're going through stuff, you don't really realize until you look back and you go, oh. Because one of the things I remember the most about moving to Michigan, because I was so adamant that it was not right, <laughs> that you take us away from Michigan. You mean to move to Colorado? Colorado. To move to Colorado. Yeah. To leave yeah. Michigan leave and move Michigan. us to Colorado. Because right. yeah. we, you were taking us away from everything we knew and our friends and our church. But I remember after I went to um, Eagle Lake right. Camp the first time and made some really good friends. And I had made some good friends um, at school as well. And I remember specifically thinking back and going, oh, okay. I get it. This is why God wanted to bring us here. And then, I mean, I could, I could take up just as much time as you guys did saying, you know, how God has moved us from one location to the other and connected us with certain people in our lives. So I just, I think that's one of the things that you get when you have a personal relationship with Jesus is, you don't always see it in the moment, but you can look right. back and say, oh, right. wow, God really right. did lead us. Right. And you, yeah, absolutely. You can look back and you can see those different points mm-hmm. when decisions were made mm-hmm. that determined what the path was. And, and I don't was... necessarily think they all happen with God just, I felt impressed. I yeah. think sometimes you just take a step in faith and say, okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to take this step and trust that if it's not where I'm supposed to be going, that God's going to stop it. Absolutely. And then you... But there are times say, when yeah, it yeah, is definitely. very... I remember the when I came out here to interview, mm-hmm. it was in November, and I remember staying on the Glen uh, and walking out that morning and looking up the canyon, Queens Canyon, mm-hmm. and there was something, God just made it mm-hmm. clear that this is what... I want you to do. Mm-hmm. And well, you had some verses impressed upon you that time. Also. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, and I'll finish up here and then I'll give you guys the final word. Um, <laughs> I, I think what we've appreciated is the foundation that you've given. We, we kind of mentioned that before. And, and really just the support for us to struggle through kind of what we've, we've done as our families. I mean, we've both adopted, Mm -hmm. um, you know, we adopted internationally. It's not always families are going to support that. You know, we didn't get into that very, very much, but, um, so, I mean, we're now at that stage where we've, you know, we're praying tons and saying, okay, we've tried to, to give our kids the foundation that you guys laid for an example for us. And, just kind of let them go out there and try to <laughs> to take that next generation forward. And so we've just got to trust in, in some of the scriptures, like train a child in the way that they should go. Yes. And they won't depart from it. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, I think that's what we both, uh, and, and for, for our family, you know, appreciate it and, and always um, will. But... You know, it's just kind of neat to see the heritage again, mm-hmm. all the places in hindsight that that are pretty amazing guidance, and um, we'll just try to take the torch forward. <laughs> and I know Jeff's doing the same thing. And you are. Mm-hmm. And you yes, are. and we're <laughs> so thankful. Yeah. So, Mom, and then we're gonna let Dad wrap it up. Mom. Say that. Again. So we're gonna just let. Just, yeah, just kind of, I don't know, this okay. is a speed yeah. round, just the final minute thoughts. I mean, you've, you've probably tied everything up. You can do it in less. Just want you all to know that we love you very much, and we're looking forward to the future with you, and we want to see you all in heaven. Mm. Good. And we may be seeing you from Michigan or from Colorado, but we don't know yet. <laughs> um, we do not know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future. Right. Absolutely. Not sure you need to say anything after that. (laughs) Okay.
<laughs> We're done. It's a wrap. <laughs> Just wish Jeff could have been in on it too. That yeah. would have been yeah. absolute fun. Yeah. Well, he will. Yeah. We'll make it available for everybody.